Welcome to Off Center's Online Learning, a chance to receive the same high quality course material with one on one instructor feedback in a colorful, convenient package that you can absorb at your own pace, anytime, anywhere. When scheduling or distance gets in the way, Off Center Online is the best answer. Now let's take every single piece that we've used up to this point and try to bring it all together into this final exercise which is going to connect session view with arrangement view. We have our cold cut piece inside session view and now let's tab back over to arrangement view and just see what's going on here. So at the 104th bar we have this piece that they created. This is essentially the way that they intended the track to be. So if you wanted to listen to this beforehand, you would click this button here that I just did there, which was called the uh, Back to Arrangement button. And this makes um, Arrangement View the master view. So that means it enables audio inside Arrangement View, essentially. So if I press play now, this is how the track was recorded. Let's bring it back to the original tempo of 100 there. Okay, so you can listen through that. This is the track as it was recorded, as it was released. Okay, so that's the original, again, spacebar is your shortcut for stopping everything. I'm going to double click in the, uh, the stop button here to bring myself back to the 1.1.1. I'm going to disengage my loop. Um, the reason why they put it all the way on the 104th bar was to give everybody in the option of doing a live take or a remix ahead of it. And that way you can actually compare the original to your own version of it. So that's exactly what we're going to do now. We're going to tab back over to session view now and we're going to record a session take from session view into arrangement view. And the way you do that is pretty simple. Uh, we're going to set everything up here. We're going to press stop all clips here. We're going to set our global quantization to a denomination that we're comfortable with. In this case, I'm going to put quarter notes. And I'm also going to set up a bunch of key mapping, okay? And the reason why I want to do this is I want to just have a shortcut on my keyboard to launching my scenes. And that's how I'm going to do it going through uh, this track scene by scene using my global quantization uh, quarter note value as an improvisational tool to jump back and forth from scene to scene. So again, I'm going to activate my key mapping. I'm going to select my intro. I'm going to hit one on my keyboard. Drums, I'm going to call two. Chorus, I'm going to call three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Call the bridge zero. And then I'm OK with not having these bottom choruses in the ending. OK, so that's enough for me at the moment. Otherwise, I could use ASDF or whatever it is that you feel is the best key to launch that particular function. Okay, I'm going to undo my key mapping for the moment. I'm going to press stop there, stop all clips, just to make sure nothing launches, nothing happens by surprise here. Okay, and what we're going to do is hit record. But before I do that, I want to just see what my record count in is. Now, underneath the metronome, again, we mentioned this a little bit earlier. Now it's putting that information to use. We're going to look at what our count in is. I want to give myself two bars prep time so that when I press record, it's going to give me a two bar count in so that I can activate, get ready and activate my clip whenever I'm ready as opposed to it just starting automatically. All right. So I'm going to set it to two bars and then I'm going to hit record. And when I hit record, everything that I do inside session view is going to show up in arrangement view. And this is one of the coolest first sort of eureka moments of, uh, of Ableton, of using Ableton. Things that really will bring your tracks to life in a bit of a different way than uh, any other software that you might be messing with. All right. So let's check this out. I'm going to hit record. Two, three, and. All right. So everything's flying here. We're recording and you'll notice that if I tab back over to arrangement view, everything that's happening inside session view is now being recorded into arrangement view. 